Hey, for those who are using Filter Forge before, you notice it's a very powerful program where you can create um, total custom filters and most important textures. And textures was very useful when you do in a Vue, Terrigen, or Unity, Unreal Engine, any of them. And then now um, they come up with very good announcement that new Filter Forge 9 is will support PBR materials. It's a um, physical based render type of materials. So right here they have it available a baked version. You can go ahead, download it and play around, see what materials it does. The best things about this, they have a full legacy support. So right here, let's go to organic and we'll go just maybe select some organic like this map. Um, notice this is will be your default material to change some of the oldest materials. And you notice we have it final, diffuse, normal. So we have it all of these regular. We don't have it any special ones um, or assign as PBR material. So we want to go and edit this material. And right here, what I want to do is look a little bit closer on um, our result and you notice if we click on result it will come up as a result as a legacy surface so this is a filter is absolute they all use a pbr and easy to change right now what we're we going to do is select to the pbr surface and notice now we have it more inputs we have it our base color height roughness metallic emission so we'll go to select this to the base we'll go select this to the height and right now, this is our basic one. We do have a roughness, which is reflect as shininess, metallic emission, opacity, alpha. So we have it all as additional. We not necessarily need to have them, but if you develop, you can always connect. So let's go to just organic. Um, we'll just go like this color. Okay, you can see how it adjusts. And now if we look on our materials, you'll notice right there we have our roughness. It's a direct roughness, metallic. We have all of this. Also, we have occlusion and emission. So we have all necessary maps. Let's go ahead and click OK. And as preview, we can actually preview our roughness because we don't select any roughness. It's not there. Same as metallic, but we have our normals as usual. And normals we can also select in different ways so we can have it them for um as export we can select them for unity or for unreal depending on which one so we also have our height we have it create occlusion and we have an emission one if we want to um modify roughness of course we need to go and select something from here so we'll go to let's increase components you know, it says tone curve add. So we'll go to select. I just want to add some effect to this one. We'll select to the roughness on this. Okay, let's disable that one. And a curve. Let's just adjust maybe some curve to this one, put it in. So we'll go. Um, Yeah, let's instead that one. Okay, we'll just select a little bit more on a contrast curve. Okay, let's go to edit. Maybe even more. Set a little bit higher contrast on this. Okay, and now if we look at roughness, we'll have a little bit. Let's go to save this filter. Notice we add a little bit roughness, and now if we look, we'll have it our roughness map as well. So it's kind of nice. Um, next, we want to always export, and when we go export right here, we can have it all of these images in a necessary format um, as we want to export them. Some of them, like normal maps, we can also modify, but I think overall here is. Um, We'll go in. Okay, let me also show you right in this case. So if normals, you can also modify for Unity on Unreal, which one depend you need to Y plus or minus. 
as well or roughness we can inverse or direct so depend on applications you're using you can change those options when you're exporting okay so overall this is kind of a review very fast of new edition and i'm really excited about when this one will be released so you can use it in um, many other textures currently in a good intelligent as well as in unity for the gaming if you're going to use it i think this is very good edition and looking forward to when it's full release will come out